Hello, this is Marsilio with the market update. Today I'm going to combine some te technical commentary with some astrology. In the future, I may separate these out, but for day, I'll uh, combine. So as I tweeted yesterday, I don't think this is a time to be too bearish on markets, and I'll give you a few reasons why. First is, this is the Bitcoin monthly chart, and this is Coinbase data. So uh, going back, not from the inception of Bitcoin, but pretty far, 2015. And with this data, this is the first ever tag of the monthly Bollinger Band. And so far, that is being bought. Uh, in addition, we have tags on the Dow, near tag on S&P, tag on NASDAQ. And my idea is that even if we are in an extended bear market like 2008 and 2000 through 2002, the first touch of the band after a drop is likely bought. And that's what the two green arrows show here. And I think we're in that situation now with indexes and cryptos. Um, and there's also just the chance that it, it's a key low. But regardless, for now, I, I think we want to be thinking long uh, af after such decline. The other reason is big declines have already happened. Uh, Bitcoin's down nearly 75% off the high. The Dow reached almost 20%, so it was 19.8%. No coincidence on that number. S&P almost 25%. Again, no coincidence. NASDAQ down 34%. So, uh, you know, big drops already in. And the crowd um, really does not believe this rally. This is a weekly put call chart. There is... Um, the blue line is a simple 10 MA and the faster moving average is a whole moving average. So it's not the absolute high it's ever been, but it's getting up there and still elevated despite uh, S&P rally of 7.5% last week, uh, pretty strong. So no one really believes this bounce. So if you find yourself thinking that you know things ha just have to go lower from here or it's really time to be extra bearish, I, I mean... The drop has already happened and everybody's bearish. So that just may not be the right point of view. Um, now, what is ahead? I'm going to go back to uh, this chart for a minute. This chart shows on the price uh, pivots only and simple moving averages only. And when I say pivots, I, I mean not with the usually accompanying uh, support and resistance lines that I, I typically show in green and red, respectively. So this is monthly pivot, quarterly pivot, half year pivot, and yearly pivot. And um, I think th this chart shows why I like these indicators so much. It's just so crystal clear what side of the market is the right side. For example, here in April, Bitcoin below all pivots tested again the 21st. And since then, it, there's not been one single day above uh, any um, pivot of significance, meaning monthly or higher, um, not counting the dailies or weeklies in this analysis. So um, so yes, it, the, the trend is still down. But what I'm pointing, what I'm, what I'm emphasizing with this chart is that we're about to have the second most significant changeover to new pivots um, second only to the start of the year, because as of July 1st, we'll have new pivots for the second half for the third quarter and for July. So I'll be watching where those come in for sure. And if you're curious about the, these, uh, pivots for, for any of the major asset classes, be sure and tune in next week on that next video. So this has been the technical commentary. I'm going to shift gears to the astrological commentary. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, run through um, the charts that I usually show on Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, oh, by the way, uh, something I, I, I forgot to say that I wanted to mention, this chart does not look good, right? Bitcoin does not look too zippy. But what percent off the low did this rally? Actually, almost 25%. And Ethereum, uh, do the math, 
Um, the low was 879 and the high today was 1280. And that's a 45% rally off the low, even though it does not look much uh, due, to the, due to the drop. But I think many people would be surprised that in the last few days, uh, cryptos have rallied so much uh, by, by percent terms. Now, okay, back to the astrology. So uh, if you're familiar with my work, I was posting this on tw Twitter via screenshots. I'm shifting over to the video version. So this is simply shows uh, Saturn through the zodiac signs on Ethereum on top and Bitcoin on the bottom. Uh, hugely impactful for cryptos with uh, top in a couple of days of a sign change here. And then Saturn in Aquarius initially positive, but giving back a lot of gains. I'm going to say more about that in a few minutes. Here is Jupiter. Jupiter was weak in Pisces. That's purple. And I thought Aries would do better, um, seemed to be stabilizing, but had uh, another plunge, which the answer, I think, is in this next chart, the north node in Taurus green has been terrible for cryptos um, as it has been positive for commodities. And I've, I've noted a connection between commodities and earth sign for, for many years. And here it is playing out with the north node uh, yet, yet again in, in very convincing fashion. Now, just hold on to this concept for a minute that north node in Taurus has been terrible for cryptos as other commodities rally with the inflation connection. Here's a Mars chart. Even Mars and Aries could not help the market lift. Uh, even though it's pretty strong data, it's strong configuration. Here is the sun sign chart, slid further in Gemini. Cancer is doing okay, pink, although not great data there. Here's Venus, and this is what I think has, or, or part of, major part of what I think has happened, is that Venus and Taurus crossed the North Node, and this is where we had this last puke down, that, that Venus was in fact, triggering this north node in Taurus that has been uh, you know, so positive for commodities, so bearish for risk assets, given inflation fears. And this is why I think we had this last decline. Now, since moving into Gemini, um, tech and, and stocks in general, especially tech and cryptos have perked up. That was the call. That's what's happening. And there's a decent amount of time left, uh, Venus and Gemini. Um, Mercury was also part of this last drop because it was back and forth in Taurus. And even though it only crossed the node position once by exact motion, it was within the orb. Uh, and that was part of this, um, this last puke down when it was in Taurus. So that's what's kind of passed in Astro. I'm going to move over to uh, Moon Data. One of the best edges in markets is simple moon quarters for Bitcoin. And we are in fourth quarter and yet again, delivering positive, at least so far. Um, this is uh, Bitcoin for 2021 through current, just separated into moon quarters. And um, so when the fourth quarter ends, there will be more risk of drop, especially first quarter, second quarter. Uh, so we've got a few more days of the fourth quarter, although there's some events in the coming week, namely um, Neptune Station and uh, Sun, Moon Together and Cancer that probably are not are probably going to be down. So I'm not really expecting that much for the current week, even though my larger perspective is let's not be too bearish. You know, uh, crypto's already had a huge rally, you know, 25 percent, 45 percent off the lows and some give back would probably be normal at this stage. Now, the other thing I wanted to show in the astro charts is for S&P historical data. So what I've done here is selected uh, S&P bear markets only. So that's where the damage happens. I mean, the data looks extremely negative because bear markets are relatively short lived where a, a lot of drops happen and separated out by sun sign. So this is... Um, S&P bear markets only 1980 to current and the two worst signs have been cancer and Virgo. Um, so sun and cancer now is going to be a limiting factor on the rallies. Here's the same data just showing year by year one-offs. 
and uh, especially the last few have been terrible and we have to go back a long way to get any positive um, when SP is in a bear market, which I'm, I'm defining simply by the, the 200 moving average status above or below, by the way. And then Mercury, same, same data selection, but through Mercury, 1980 to current, um, bear markets only, and then separated out by Mercury sign and cancer has been the absolute worst. Um, and here again is the, the view year by year and a couple recent positives. So it doesn't have to drop, but you know, odds are that'll be a risk period for the market. So these are going to come together, sun and cancer and uh, mercury and cancer from July 5th to July 18th. So I kind of ideally like to see a little bit more into the rally into the holiday, maybe not this coming week, but, uh, you know, closer to the holiday. And then we'll have another period where uh, markets, including cryptos, will be at risk for a drop. So that's a little bit on um, big picture take, uh, some astro and very, very near term take and a, a quick take on July. But I'll be watching those pivots very closely. You know, a lot of key, key moves start at the end of quarters and beginning of new quarters. And if you're curious on that, come back for the next video. That's Marsilio's market update. Thank you very much.